Okay, so this one, the D11, one, one, one to 10 scale, uh, 11, 0, 110 kg. So already removed the top cover, we can see inside. The top cover, I lift up to show you. It is just like this, to take out totally. And uh, only two connections, one for the screen, one for the light. So disconnect, can remove it. And uh, you will see from the side, each side two screw to secure the top cabin plate. Remove this four screw, take out. Yeah, that's the two plug for the screen and for the LED light. So that's the well block. So and the five channel. It's still a valve, and uh, this uh, it should be half metal servo and uh, five channel. This for the cylinder top two. That's one channel. Rear side two cylinder one channel, and the front right side for lifting the for lifting the blade. One channel, one more channel, and for tilting the blade forward, these two cylinder one channel. Left and right, two cylinder one channel. One, two, three, four, five channel. And uh, downside, look into that's the big ESC for the two driving big brushless motor. So, and this angle you can see the motor end. And uh, here inside, two uh, ESC here, that's for two motor of the pump. Downside, this position, that's one pump, and the pressure gauge here. And inside, there is second pump. So two pump, they are running together, so enough oil supply to the valve directly. So, Inside that pump suction uh, deliver oil here, that's the oil hose delivered to the well. This pump deliver, that's the deliver oil hose delivered to this side. And on top of this hose, that's the return line to the oil tank. And this position, that's the suction line. Suction go to the two pump. So this transparent hose, that's the return line from pump to the oil tank. So from the pressure release valve in, inside the pump block, if pressure too high, the oil return from the pressure valve directly to tank. So running, let's start the pump to see. Mix control start the pump. The first pump, see around five MPa. So they run it together, that pump will start directly too. It's, it will be start turning. So if you look carefully, that pressure gauge also around 5 MPa. So both pump running same time, 5 MPa. Supply enough oil to the wheel block. Two side door can be opened. So that's the big battery chamber. You can put even bigger battery, yeah? So here, oil tank and uh, oil level. Fill up oil from this screw, take it out to fill up oil. And uh, on top, this one, uh, this angle, this one, that's the blower for smoking system. That's the heating unit. Smoking board here. And inside, that's the sound board from couplet. Yeah, so open this side door, that's the receiver, 12 channel all used. And uh, even, you will see from here, the smoking signal wire and uh, the sound signal wire together connect to 12 channel. Channel 12, they are bind together. So smoking and the throttle engine sound coming together, to channel 12. Later we will see more of the settings from radio. So here we see the drive wheel. And when driving this track inside the slot with the drive wheel gears, this one I believe nobody cares yeah, because it's for sure the paint on the tooth on the gear will be uh, off paint. And uh, so this one with the track tension here, this position, inside have spring, yeah, I will. It's 
very strong. I will have to hold by by, by my foot too. Uh, that's the, the tension. So one thing about this uh, blade can tilt him forward and backward and uh, can tilt him left and right. What is smart is these four cylinders. You see, these two are for lifting up and down and uh, they control separately. So uh, check, this one I can lift the right side the, by this cylinder, one valve. So left side, this cylinder, I can lift the left side of the blade. And uh, for mix control, I'm using J3 to control both cylinders moving together for lifting up and down. So if not mix control, I use the turning switch for tilting left and right. You can, for tilting left and right, you can tilt it only with one cylinder or two cylinders working together different direction, yeah? But check out like this, I will tilt in one direction. Did you notice that? When this one tilting to, to this side, yeah, tilting more. So this cylinder goes out, this cylinder coming back, but I, I was not operating these two cylinder. You see this cylinder piston going in, and this side, the piston, the connecting rod coming out. How is this happening? The valve was not ha opening. I only operate these two cylinder well, two well. This one well for these two cylinder not opening, not moving. So how is the oil changing? Because here you see at the rear side, that's the oil hose. So going from here, that's coming from the well, yeah. And it's connecting to left side directly. So coming to the rear side, this one. So when this side is the oil pressure, it's tilting have the strength, yeah? Pushing the oil to the left side. Left side then pushing this cylinder out. So this oil from here, top, going back to the front of this side again. That's the smart part. So this one can free turning, tilting, without any resistance. All cylinder can move in together. So let's tilt into another side, moving this two channel, two cylinder together at the same time. Yeah, another side. Yeah, already maximum turning angle. So we turn a little bit angle, we can see the downside. This track, the, the road wheel, you see it can roll in. It's a connecting pin here. And uh, also these two can roll in forward and backward. Also for this one. Yeah, also for other two at the front, yeah. So, and the downside, we can see the chassis, all these metal plate, how thickness they are. And with these connecting pins, this position, and also you can see the road wheel, the pin, all very strong steel. So this one with totally enough power, and at this weight, for sure you can push the land, the mud, the rocks with enough power. Okay, let's put back. So first that's for the light. Connecting back. This one, another one that's for the screen. Connect. Okay, so only two wires then. Push in, we secure again. Put back the top cover, align it. Okay, sit tight, then put the four screws. Easy, yeah. So this left side has this ladder, just to pull it out. Ladder here can put some pin inside to lock it and uh, turn it. So this one inside secure by screw turning. Just put it down. Climbing up, open the cabin. Also right side can be opened. Make a round, you can see the outside looking. So see the rear side here, 
extinguisher, ripper to cylinder, this handle rail, letters, this side door, open. So we will open all the door to show you. So front looking, open also this side door. Here also have the ladder. Receiver inside. At this angle, you can turn it and then align, push inside. This one push inside, stuck it, secure the ladder. Close all the door to start the driving. Inside the screen, now battery a little bit low already, 11.3 volt. So start 